Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in this tutorial I'll show you how to create this popular cool looking facade in Revit using these displaced windows that create kind of a void on the facade and by creating all different types of these windows you can get all kinds of cool looking facades. So we'll be doing this as a window family and it will be a parametric family so just by changing the parameters you can change the shape of the window and that's how you can get all kinds of interesting patterns on your facades. And before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like these every day. So let's get started. I'm going to go here into a family, create a new family, and I'm just going to scroll down and use this default metric window family. And when you open it up, it looks kind of like this. You have this interior and exterior view, and you have the wall with a void cut out. And first thing I would like to do is I would, I would like to place some reference planes that will be the depth of our displaced window. And to do so, I'm just going to go type in RP for reference plane. And let's do two reference planes over here. And this wall is about 200 millimeters, so I'm just going to place this at 200 millimeters as well, and this at 200 millimeters also. So once this is completed, you, we can go to exterior view, and we get something that looks like this. Now first, I'm just going to change the parameters a little bit, so I'm going to go here to family types. And here you can change all the parameters. So for the default cell height, I'm going to put it at, I don't know, something like 30 or... No, let's go with 0 for this one. And for the height, let's go at 3 meters or maybe 280. And for the width, let's go at 3 meters. So 3000 millimeters and go apply. OK. So this is our basic opening that we can use to create our window. So what we need to do is we need to add some reference planes. So we have this outside frame. Now we need to create some inside frame for our window where we'll have this whole thing will be a void and the window will be maybe here perhaps. So let's create some reference planes again. So RP for reference plane and I'm going to place one over here one over here and two horizontal ones like this. So these horizontal ones will determine, this will determine the cell height, this will determine the basically the height of the window and these two will determine the width of the window as well as position inside of this void. And now let's add some parameters. So I'm going to use dimensions and DI is the shortcut. So I'm going to place a dimension here, a dimension here, and from here to here, one dimension, and from here to here. So make sure you don't grab this center left, right, make sure you only grab your, the one that you created. Okay, so now let's add parameters. This will be the cell height, or the new cell height, so I'm just going to go here and type in new cell height height and go OK. This will be just new windowed height. This will be, let's call it horizontal offset. And this will be the width or the new width. So once we've done that, we need to delete this void over here that we have in the middle. So I'm just going to hit tab, select the void. So it's called opening cut and delete it. So we have our outside frame and this is our inside frame. Make sure to remember that. And now I'm going to go to floor level. And now let's select the plane to create our basic window shape or our displaced window shape. And to do that, I'm going to go here to the Create tab and I'm going to be using a solid blend. 
so first I need to select this profile so or where, where I'll set my profile so I'm just going to go set pick a plane go OK and I'm going to pick this plane over here and I'm going to go to exterior view to select it and I'm just going to be using a rectangle and I'm going to select this outside frame now make sure you lock everything in place so when you later on change the parameters it will automatically change the parameters and here for the first end and second end I'm just going to leave both of them at zero so now I'm going to go to edit top again go back to reference level go set pick a plane OK and here I'm just going to pick this plane over here go to exterior view again open view and let's create another rectangle inside of this window here again lock everything in place and go finish and it says the blend is too thin let's check it out well it doesn't look too thin to me and make sure you lock everything in place same thing here okay now we have our blend and if we go into 3d it looks like that now this is only on the inside and on the outside we don't really have anything so we need to create a void on the outside so I'm just going to go to reference level and let's go here to create void forms open this drop menu and use void blend so now we can set the reference plane so go set pick a plane OK and let's pick this plane over here and go to exterior view and now we can use a rectangle and just create this rectangle over here yeah that's the outside and again lock everything in place to make sure it changes with the parameters now go edit top back to floor plan set pick a plane and let's pick this inside plane go back to the exterior and again let's choose this rectangle here and lock it in place go finish again it's too thin but don't worry it isn't really too thin go to reference level and again just kinda move it out and then move it back and lock it in place same thing here lock it in place and let's go into 3D and if you can't see anything just go into wireframe as, in, as you can see we have the hole cut out over here but we don't really have a hole cut out through the wall so I'm just going to select this cut geometry select the wall select the void and now if you probably can see this right so let's go back into hidden line and it looks like this maybe go to shaded yeah there you go so we have this basically the hole in our facade and let's just cut out the window so I'm just going to go to reference level or to exterior go create void form void extrusion set a plane pick a plane let's pick this plane over here and let's create an extrusion so I'm just going to go here for rectangle and for the offset I'm going to go with 50 millimeters and let's create something like this and now because we can't really lock it in place we need to use dimensions to constrain it so just create one like so like so and here as well and here also and once you've done that you select them and you lock them again you need to do this so when you change the parameters the window will change as well so now go back go finish go into floor plan and make sure you lock it here remove constraint and you lock it here let's try again okay let's keep it like so and let's go into 3d so we have this void over here and let's just go into cut geometry and cut this part with this basically that and here you go now we have the hole for our window so once this is completed we need to just add the 
the actual window and I'll just add the glass in here and let's add some small frame perhaps or no let's just add the glass for now so go to exterior or go to reference level and just set the work plane so go create extrusion set pick a plane and let's pick this plane over here and make sure to go to the exterior view and let's just create our glass like so and again lock it in place so it changes with all the parameters and now go back to reference level and change this the thickness of this glass and go to edit material and let's just change this to glass so let's go into 3d yeah it looks kinda like that and now let's try to flex it or let's try to change the parameters and see will this window change with them so just go here to parameters let's move this out of the way open this family types and again here for our new cell height let's change it to something shorter like 200 for our window height let's change it to I don't know 2.5 or 2200 basically maybe 300 yeah for the new width let's try something shorter like 500 and for the new offset where is our horizontal offset here let's change this dramatically let's go with 1200 okay now let's just go apply and there you go so it changed if I go OK so our window changed to this so you can basically change all the parameters and make all types of different windows but let's keep it at this for now okay so let's now create some project where we can use this thing so I'm just going to go here to Revit new project architectural template okay and let's just create a floor so something like I don't know something like that doesn't really matter let's go into south elevation and let's add a few more levels and first let's change this to 3000 go create similar pick lines 3000 and let's just create some simple facade here and let's go into 3d select this maybe change it to 200 that's probably better go OK apply OK and let's just duplicate it so go copy paste align to selected levels and let's select everything and go OK so now we have our basically all of our floors so let's do a facade wall again level 1 and let's go wall something like that and from unconnected let's go to level 4 apply go into 3d okay that looks all right for what we're doing right now so let's go to I don't know maybe level 2 and let's switch back to our family and let's load it into project and place it maybe place one here one here one here go to level 2 place one like that go to level 3 okay let's go into 3d yeah that looks nice let's move this like that and now let's change the parameters to make all of this look interesting so just go edit type and maybe change this cell height to I don't know 200 this to 20 I don't know go apply OK so now we can change that now you can see all of these changed now why did that happen we need to edit this family a bit so go back to edit family and we need to change it f all these parameters from uh, look if you go here into edit parameter you need to change it from type into instance parameter go OK and do the same thing for all of these so instance this again instance parameter 
and this as well instance parameter go ok apply ok load into project override existing version and now let's start changing so go here edit type or we don't even need to go into edit type we can change it over here so new width let's do 500 new height let's do 220 new cell height let's go 150 and horizontal offset let's go 1600 go apply so this one is different let's change this one let's just create a rendering of this to see what would it look like and before we do that we just need to change the material and as you can remember I left everything at the default material so if I go here into manage and change the material here I'm just going to change the default material so just type in default find default and here for appearance in rendering I'm going to change it to white and let's change it in graphics to white as well just go ok apply okay and let's let's try just ray trace yeah and we need to change this material as well but that's pretty much it for this cool quirky looking facade thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day